Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Chef Naldo, and you know it's Christmas time, so we're back at it again. So let me bring out the turkey now. <laughs> so we got this beautiful 10 pound bird from Canned Poultry and Meats. They are mixed reviews on turkey. You know, some people don't like it, some people love it. But most of the people who don't like turkey is because they think it's too dry. That's when it's not cooked the right way. Step one, we are going to brine the turkey. First of all, the reason for brining the turkey is that the dark meat and the breast meat cooks at different temperatures. So we want to brine the meat so we can keep the breast juicy. We are going to be filling a pot with five liters of water. We are going to be adding some garlic. So we're going to split our whole garlic in half. We're going to cut up some ginger, add it in there, a bunch of thyme, half cup of sugar, a cup of salt, some freshly ground black pepper, some fresh seasoning, some shadow benny. We're going to add all that in there, slice some oranges, and you know, put that in there and let it come to a boil. As soon as it starts to boil, maybe for two to three minutes, um, once the water starts to bubble, we'll switch it off, allow it to cool, and once it is cooled, we'll submerge the turkey in there and let it brine for at least 12 hours. So something you could go 12, 12 to 16 hours. The safest bet is 12 hours. You can leave it overnight. And we're going to keep this stuff in simple. We're going to cut up some potatoes, some carrots, onions, put in some cloves of garlic, some thyme, chopped celery, some mushrooms. And we are going to add some olive oil, some salt and pepper and toss all that together. So when we remove the turkey from the brine, first of all, we are going to pat the turkey dry, right? Because once you rem remove the moisture, um, you get a proper roast on the skin, you want that nice, beautiful, golden brown color on your turkey. Right? Um, to add, to keeping it moist and also adding flavor, I'm going to make a compound butter and we are going to put, put the butter underneath the skin, you know, to keep that juiciness inside, sealing all the flavors. We are going to stuff the bird with this medley and we are going to add some fresh slices of orange. We are going to tie the turkey legs, which is trust in the turkey tie the turkey legs that is to seal in the, the stuffing as well as to keep the turkey uniform right so that when it bake it don't spread out and you know it's not the look that you really want to, to plate on a table more or less i bake the turkey about 15 to 20 minutes a pound so according to the weight of your turkey is how long you would actually have to bake the turkey so our turkey is about a 10 pound turkey so we're going for about three hours in the oven right preheated at 350 degrees after we bake the turkey for about 45 minutes to an hour. We are going to remove the turkey and baste it. So we are going to use some of the drippings from the turkey and we are going to add some paprika and fresh seasoning to that, a little bit of the compound butter. And we are going to baste it like every 15 minutes to get that beautiful golden brown color on our turkey. Traditionally, turkey is served with a gravy or with a cranberry sauce. But we are straining our boy, so we had to bring it local. So we're going to make a nice sorrel sauce um, to serve with the turkey. We are just simply going to get some sorrel, boil it with some fresh bay leaf, some cinnamon, clove. You know, let it come to a boil and start to break down. And we are going to season it nicely with a little salt and black pepper, add some sugar. And you know, to get this nice sweet but a little bit of tang in it. And yeah, we're just going to reduce that and serve it up with the turkey. Guys, so by the time you get to this, you're probably like me, you're exhausted, you're tired from cleaning, you're tired from making preparations, and you're hungry and you just want to get in. So I'm very grateful for this turkey, and yes, I like the wing. That's a real boy. Mm. Wow, flavor to the bone, it's very, very juicy. Oh, some flavor, wow. Another boy. At best. So guys, if you made this recipe, trust me, you're gonna have a very Merry Christmas. And we just wanna say thanks for watching for 2021. And season greetings to you.